god, sister, my leg hurts badly. Yeah, you because I usually have to deal similar with uh, exercise. I do handstand, so you yes. deal. Yes, yeah, I do a handstand, but yes, I think I can get used to it. Tomorrow I will practice it too. Okay, forgot my bad leg. And today we'll have a debate, right? Mm -hmm. This topic is should we go aboard? Yes, and I agree with that. So I will go first. Yes, and then first. you, your disagreement. So firstly, when you go abroad, so the first advantage that all of us can see that we can develop our like, our we can improve our language because we can live, we can work in the environment just with some native speaker. So that is very good for it. <clears throat> and also because like we go abroad, so we go to another country. So that becomes like one part of our life. We have to use that very day. So that is very good. Because when we learning a new language, so we will be uh, we will feel more confident, and also uh, we will like uh, open to everyone. Mm -hmm, that's a good point. But there are two types of studying abroad. The first one, when you study abroad, is what when you have a scholarship. Mm -hmm. When you have a scholarship, and they will pay all the money for you, except for like the food and the supplies that you need. Yeah. And the second type is you just go aboard without any scholarship mm -hmm. that and you have to pay for it. So it's actually pretty expensive. Like I'm talking about the second situation, the first situation, it also costs a little bit about the food, but it doesn't cost much because you already have a scholarship for the entire payment. And for the food, they just need a little amount of money for that. But in the second situation now, you know, the percentage of people that they go studying abroad by scholarship is less than people that they go study abroad with their own money, mm -hmm. not any scholarship. So I'm talking about like the payment, even though that, yes, of course, when they decide to go to a scholarship, they must be really smart and quite good, right? And of course, but there's one thing about it, the payment of some school, some university or some high school is pretty expensive. And if you want to have, if you want to study abroad for a few years, maybe you just can't afford the first year and the second year you can't afford anymore. So you have to work part time. And I think part time is also not enough to pay for your school payment. So that's the first thing that I think it's pretty expensive to study abroad without any scholarship. So we have to look back at that problem in another way. So you you say that with someone that they have scholarship, so they can go easily just like uh, um, up, um, except for their payment of food and drink and the house and uh, many things else that are not related to school. And someone that they go with their own money. So if some family, some people, they decide to go abroad with their own money, so that can be very rich. They have to, they have to look in reality. They have to think that if their economic can like um, afford to for their abroad study or not. So if it is enough, so they can go. Um. So if it uh, not enough, so they have to think another way. So if some people, so uh, with that problem, if some people they like really really want to study abroad to like try some uh, new way to study so but like if the economic can not um, the economic not enough so they have to think in another way that they're getting the scholarship if they really want to go study abroad right so uh, if they like want to uh, get the scholarship so they have to study uh, very hard beside beside this uh, hard study they have to uh, take part in some volunteer work too because like you see that many school uh, overseas that they really they realize some act activity like volunteering so uh, from that work you can see that we can improve our um, we can uh, improve our strong we can be stronger and uh, because we uh, really want to study abroad so we will have everything that we can, but just the, the good things to get a scholarship so that we will know the way to try the best to, uh, to like, uh, 
uh, taught our work and also uh, and also when we do some volunteer work we will be like uh, we will be more kindness to help more people and we can see that in some problem and we will have more way of thinking mm -hmm. now i suddenly remember your first point is that you can learn new like learn new language mm -hmm. it depends on the country whether you study abroad in germany singapore china yeah many country it's your choice but it's not too easy to learn a language because somebody they just thought that maybe i want to study abroad to china they didn't think very clearly because of what they study abroad a little bit too quickly and they didn't think of the idea that it was that hard to listen to native speakers of course native speakers not all of them will speak very slowly sometimes they'll speak very fast and somebody they, and the other type of person they just thought that when we go study abroad we just need to know english but nowadays not only english the other the other like language is also needed for example you go abroad to french like to france right and also yeah of course you need english but also you need french too because sometime when you go out to buy some food now let's not talk about school because school often in english but sometime we also need to communicate in france if we go to france for a board and also when buying some food yeah it's not very convenient for you to study a board if you don't know like the original language from that country so with that people i think they have to like find out really as much as information they can to understand more about the country they will go abroad and that people you have to you have to see that every people that i see they want to go abroad to some country from china from koreans from germany france or any country they want to go so they have to know the basics that they can communicate with the local people in their country so uh, that is no worry and when they and when they know the basics and they go to that country they can communicate they can uh, speak and also that is a way for them to practice to improve the language Mm -hmm. Often now we use English, right? And there are American English, British English. Those are the two type of way that we usually talk. Mm -hmm. But there are also Indian English, Singaporean English. Like when we go study abroad to Singapore, we like because it's our first time. We didn't expect what they the voice sounds like because the voice of Singapore is not very clear. And also Philadelphia or Cambodia. They also speak English. Yes, I see that they also speak English, but their accent of English is not very clear. Like just take for example, I just done a research, the word French fries, and they say fan fai, fan fai, like that. So if you the first like if you're the first time come to that country, maybe you won't know what is fan fai supposed to mean, right? So it is one problem with the language in different countries, even though they still use English, but the way they speak is different than what we learn at school yeah so uh, when we study abroad i like i sometimes i watch youtube and i see many channel from some student they study abroad in the many country they have a vlog and they say the story so i watched some of that and they all said that for the first time they come to that country to study abroad to study overseas so they like all of them made it dip they have some difficulty in there because like the accents is very different from the way they start in Vietnam and they have to take a long time to feel familiar with that. So I think there's just a little thing that we have to get through that if we really want to study abroad. So if we can like uh we cannot go through that so I think there's no way we can just like with a little bit of uh, pardon hardship Mm, but we like cannot go through that so i think there's no way we can like study in that country mm -hmm. and one thing which is very like very popular nowadays is when we come to another country we will often get the culture shock mm -hmm. right yeah the culture shock that's like a very pretty good word i like to use in here so when somebody they are 
when they go to a country because every country they may thought oh i think i'm ready for it because they have searched a lot of things but that's still not enough you have to discover it yourself so when you come to a new country you often get a culture shock of their accent or their tradition their culture so that's the culture shock and maybe if you are like a strong person mm -hmm. just take one or two days to get used to it but somebody is not so it will take them about even a month to get used to the culture in this country so it is one big problem nowadays for teenagers or every type of person that they study abroad even though they know that they have done enough research but it's still not enough and always people always get culture shock when they go to a different country yeah so that culture shock it happened not for all people but i will talk about like the people who have that culture shock so with some people although like they may take a long time or a short time to get over that but I think that after a time they, uh, they get after that, so they can uh, know more. Okay, they can understand understand more about a new culture, and they can have a new look. They will uh, look back in their country with uh, in a new way, and also because like and also during that, uh, I think that during that um, period of culture shock, during the period you have to get over that. So I think that it is very good because uh, uh, after all you can improve your um, self-control and so you can study to control everything to um, let me see the word to deal with everything in your own way without the other help so you can be independent you not depend on anybody and besides when you have uh, when you learn about a new culture of a new country so when you look back in our country maybe so you can learn, you can have a comparison between the different and the same and uh, uh, between that you can see that uh, which one good and which one is bad and we can improve that and also maybe with some people when they study abroad um, <coughs> Uh, with some people like I think that nowadays most of everyone they like they accept the culture is like I think that that true that no way to discuss about but um, we, when you have a new look to that so I think you can study to express your opinion um, study not to accept everything in a really easy way you can like open to somebody you can express your feeling your opinion Oh, so from your opinion, I suddenly have like a kind of new idea come to my mind. Mm -hmm. It's also a little bit related to culture shock, but yeah. not all just like a little bit related to it. So for example, like us, are, do you think that you are a person that you will never fell into somebody's like kind of asking you for something that's not good? I mean, the type of person like... Do you agree with me that every person will also have one time that fell into somebody's asking something not good? Mm -hmm. I, think so every, about that. I think everybody did. So like um, in our country, maybe we are f familiar to it and we know what's right or wrong because mm -hmm. we live in this country. But when, when we come to another country, we will get, like I said, culture shock and maybe we will f easily fell into somebody's somebody's like warning or somebody's asking for something is not good and you may like you may fell into it i'm not saying that all of us but that may happen to some of us if we're not careful in that country that we're staying abroad to because who knows in every corner of the world there are some really bad people that are about to harm us or about to ask us to do something that's not right so in a different country it's actually not too easy to define what's wrong or right yeah so if they had a warning like that so i think at that time you needed a person that can share with you with that and i think when you come to a new country when you meet some people you can understand more about people so um when you in vietnam you can't like meet many thai people and when you when you go to another country you can meet like another type of people 
so you can have more experience you understand more about all the kind of people like how they treat how they behave and what they are afraid of and also why did you um finding out and you understand a bit people maybe you can uh, you can meet some best friend and you guys can contact with each other and like keep in touch for a month for a year and be a very good friend so with that so come back to your problem you said that sometimes you would have some warning or something really bad happened to you by some people in that country so that is the time you need the people help you you can like ask for some advice or maybe if like for the first time you come to the country you don't have uh, any friends you um you can like ask some professor in there mm -hmm, yeah but that's not only the solution which will always work for that kind of situation but yeah that's a good point from you but i'm saying about that situation it's about the very cruel thing because we're like people we're not smart enough to know what's right or wrong every time right mm -hmm. so we're not the ai robots we're just humans even though we are smarter than robots yeah like i said i think so but we're not smart enough to define what's wrong or right every time so that i think it's a situation that we need to sort out when we study abroad and another thing is that it's just a small advantage maybe somebody that they are strong mm -hmm. they won't feel this way but for somebody that they are quite soft and they sometimes feel anxiety or stressed maybe they will feel this then we will miss home easily when we study abroad everyone feels that way yes everyone feels that way sometimes we miss our home mm -hmm. but uh... uh let me finish first about mm -hmm. that so when we miss home we always like can't control ourselves you can because yeah even though we will have a few time a day to call back to our family but you know that when we study aboard it's not like at home at home we can relax a little surf the net but when we study aboard all we focus on is like especially some teenagers when they study aboard in some university all they do all day is that they will go to some kind of company and they will work and they will take some notes every time and it's not like we study here at home but it's totally different when we study abroad and we need to get used to it and at that time we can't call home every day like sometime even a week we can't call home because study abroad is a real stress yes everybody feels that way when we can miss home easily yeah, some people you can miss home. But when you take yourself, you put yourself in a very strange environment, a very strange case. So at that time, you will know your strength, you know your weakness. And so from that, you can improve yourself. You can like day by day, make, your, make, your, uh, make yourself like more perfectly day by day. And so this spirit will be built up during the uh during the time you study abroad so i think that is also really good because you can be more grow up so if you so uh can we know when we be more grow up so at that time uh when we be more grow up we can like take after ourselves without other people help or maybe just a little bit but we like totally all the time we can take, uh, take care of ourselves you can think in a material in a more material way and also we will have a new look to some sort of, to some case a new look to some problem in that way we can have a uh, more solution that uh, objectively yes even though we are old enough to like control ourselves but not every time because even though we're old we can still miss home right mm -hmm. everyone will miss home so your like your opinion isn't like i disagree with yours so of course and because everyone at a time will miss home if somebody doesn't miss home that means they don't belong to their home because just like me like i think you already know because i miss home or i miss family members quite often even though i just go for one day and now we go to university we have no one to take care of because maybe we'll go study abroad it depends on the year but like the least maybe three years mm -hmm. or maybe two years like just like me 
I even miss family members for even a day. So when we study abroad, we'll go all by ourselves or even with our friends. But our friends is not our family members. And when we stay with our friends, it's not feel like we stay with our family members because when we spend time with our family, it's way different with our friends. And we have no one to take care of. Think of the situation now for us. Every morning, we still need our mom to make breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. And to call us up if we forget and to make us breakfast to take care of us every time we're sick. But when we study abroad, we have to take care of ourselves. We have to wake up to like get ready for our school and we have to make our own breakfast. It's not as good as our mom make it. And also we have to take care of everything ourselves. So if you consider that you cannot do all those things. So why do you go to study abroad anyway? So I think with the people, if they feel that yeah, when they go, they can have some problem. When they go, with the, they say, well, they can like have this, have that. They, um, maybe they miss home, or maybe they cannot take care of themselves. So I think they shouldn't study abroad. Yes, with that's, that people, that's what I said. They, they shouldn't study abroad. So I just talk about some people that they want to study abroad, and that maybe we should go abroad with some benefit of that. But with some people, they like, in, in inside them, they really don't want to study abroad. So I think they don't have any reason to study abroad because like, and so you have to think that uh, you have to you have to look that some children in the age of us is have to uh, still some guardian like parents or maybe if uh, if we don't have parents, so we will have someone like our guardian. So that person will decide. So if we owe enough, we uh, we like get out the guardian, so we can decide our life. But in the but with our like, but with our age, we have to like so we we'll have to listen to them. If they let us go, they wanted to study abroad, so we can go. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, also I think it's another different because nowadays there are a lot of programs. Um, well, for people that they go to, they go study abroad, it's often high schoolers or mm -hmm. university. But now there's even the program to study abroad for primary or even secondary. That's very common nowadays. Lots of Vietnamese try that too. And also, yeah, like we said, be the guardian parents. But how can parents come with the children study abroad? Need to go all by themselves. No, so with that, with the children that they is like under eighteen. So when they study abroad, um, so I will take their the age earlier, maybe um, ten, ten or fifteen. So when they study abroad, parents have to go with them because parent have is the guardian. When they go to another country, so they have someone to go after and like be responsible for them. And also when they go to another country, also they have to. I'll go with that people too. So like you have to think that when you go to the airport and you said that uh, you go by yourself, no one let you go in. So you have some like some guardian, someone that old enough, like more than eighteen, can look after you, uh, can look after you, and can take responsibility for you, go with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I was. So wrong. parents have to go with that people that they are eighteen. And when they are like, uh, older than 18, so they can go with themselves because at that time they can control their life. Mm -hmm, maybe it was wrong with that bit. But there's also, do you think that after we study abroad, well, there are, nowadays there are not many people that when they finish studying abroad, they will come back to their original country. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, like when they finish, they will just stay back in that country and work there, right? But there are also like actually many cases they come back to their country. So do you think that when they come back and they got some kind of like, they got to be a really like a really high, oh, how can I say the word, a really high position mm -hmm. at workplace. So do you think that they will, they will find a job easily at their, they will like be successful and find a job easily at their original, original country? So everyone, we think every situation, uh, also have a reason. 
So if like people study abroad and then they don't want to go back to the country, they just stay in that country. So uh, so we have to look like why? Why do they not come back? Because like our government don't have something that is really worth with their uh, qualification. So my friends have uh, her, uh, I have a friend and she has a brother and that brother like sometimes I talk to our mom and he saw that in Vietnam his qualification it, it was class in Vietnam because like with some work that work they don't need a person that is uh, uh, they don't need a person that is have a very good qualification so it be that work you can or you can like take on a worker so he can do it for you or maybe maybe that worker is like do it better than the person have so, so high qualification so in other country the qualification is very useful but in Vietnam it, it was that mm -hmm. so we have to look at that reason that's exactly the point I said, because when you have the qualification really high from another country and maybe you want to go back, so it's not very useful. So why should we go to study abroad anyway? Well, I'm not talking about some case that they stay back in the country that they study abroad, but when we come back to our country, our qualification is not really useful to us. So I think we shouldn't study abroad if we decide to go back to our country. But you have to see that our like program, learning program is really heavy. So heavy. And when we and you can see that nowadays when we study, when we are student, we study some so many things that I make sure with you. That maybe when you we grow up, you uh, go to life and you find some work. Maybe some knowledge in that. Like you don't use any of that knowledge in the work you do. Maybe you work with nothing related to your uh, to your work, or maybe um, maybe you like you have to write a really long paragraph every every time you have some exam in school. But when you like when you go to work, you don't need that. Of course we need that because if we're working in the marketing office, we'll often write some kind of, well, not marketing office, but when we go study abroad, we will often need to write that after we've searched on something for the professor. Yeah, so you see that, so you see that <clears throat> because in Vietnam, you don't have something like worth without further qualification. So every, every school, uh, or maybe the overseas school, or maybe in Vietnam school, the program I see that I compare is real heavy. Or maybe like uh, in the overseas, their study is maybe heavier than in Vietnam. But in coming, that is really heavy. Yes. But when, but it's not like uh, it's not equally. Be why? Because like in the other country, so because their pro their learning program is really heavy. And so the job market is need many people that they like be talented, uh, they really good. So that was their study. They study and then they can put the study in the world in the work they do. But in Vietnam, maybe now we study real heavy. But when we do some work, or maybe it's not related to what we study. So I think it's not worth. Mm, well, you said that there's nothing related to what you study, but there is. Because if you said that there's nothing related to it, then you are quite wrong. There is something like math. We have to calculate and yeah. literature. We have to write essays sometimes. And English, of course, geography, history, all needed in the workplace. But it's not like the entire thing we learn, but we still need to learn them. Yeah. And there are something related to it, not thing related to it then what you said are absolutely wrong there are something related to it so you have to think that when you study about a square about a triangle or maybe some cube some the pyramid shape so when you like learn about architecture so you can use that but what about the other word no we used to that uh-huh but what do you think if we don't graduate primary, secondary, high school, so that universe, okay, let me talk first, like university, then we won't get a job that we really want, right? So those triangles, square, those mathematics, 
is what brings us to our job. If we don't have that, then how can we get a job? Mm -hmm. So that is why I thought that although our program is really heavy, but when we find a job, it's not worth what we study. We study really heavy, we study really tight, but when we find a job, it's like not heavy like that. Mm -hmm. So what's your conclusion? So my conclusion that uh, if some people, they really want to go abroad, well, maybe they do anything they really want, so they have to try their best, do anything as good as they can to achieve the goal. But if some person that they don't really, um, in, inside them, in their heart, they don't really like to study abroad. So I think if they still want to go, it is like uh, absolutely not very good for them. Well, mine is thing that we shouldn't go, like I said, we mustn't, but I didn't say we mustn't, but I said we shouldn't go study abroad. Because of one thing is that we have to, like, of course, we, there are some good skills that we will learn when we go study abroad, but I still think we shouldn't. Well, there are students nowadays that they related too much on their parents, and I think going study abroad is not a very good for them. And why don't we study in our country? I think it's just like study abroad, but a little bit different. And I, that's my conclusion. I think we shouldn't. That's all. Mm. That's the end.